Okay guys, so here we are at 7 o'clock. We've got a yogi on the beach. And the sky is turning beautiful colors right before our eyes. I want everyone to take in a deep breath and hold it. And release. I want you to think of three things that you are super, super grateful for right now. Super grateful for. The first thing that comes to my mind is my mom, yoga, and the community that I have manifested in my life. You know, I've met so many beautiful people through social media. And you know, we always say social media is such a bad thing and it's addicting and it's evil and there's misinformation and this is true. But I personally have found my tribe through social media and met so many beautiful, beautiful souls that I'll know for the rest of my life. Soul sisters and brothers that I'm so grateful for. I can think of like, seriously, I can think of about 10 people that I've met through social media, maybe more that I will know for the rest of my life and that are such incredible beings that I would have never met otherwise. So I just want to remind you that um, social media is a beautiful thing and it changed my life, truly changed my life. And it changed my health and it changed my awareness. And um, don't ever take for granted the power of social media and the community that you can form here. It is a beautiful thing, guys. And uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful sunrise, as always, and it's never the same. That's what I love about sunrise and nature. It's never gonna be the same. It's quite cold, I gotta say, but, um, you know, that's because I'm in my bathing suit, okay? <laughs> I'm the only one on the beach in my bathing suit. Everybody else here is normal and has clothing on but um i'm excited i'm hoping i can get in the water before work and yeah that'll definitely wake me up and um yeah i thank you guys so much for being here if you have not subscribed i please please ask you to subscribe it is free and it helps me to grow my channel so that one day i can do this for a living imagine that I don't have to do this before and after work. Um, and uh, yeah, so that I can make way, way, way more content about my journey, my, you know, healing journey back to health. I was suffering for a very long time, especially with depression and overeating. Okay, I was actually suffering with overeating until, I'm not joking, very, very recently. I was binging and overeating as a raw vegan for a very long time because I kept denying the true cause of my emotional eating, the true cause of what I was doing with food, how I was using food to cope. And so I just want you guys to know that it is possible to heal and it's also possible to not heal. It's possible to keep numbing yourself even if you're raw vegan, if, even if you're healthy and you're never going to have the health and body and life of your dreams doing that. You've got to face it. Whatever you are trying to not face, that's what you've got to face. Whether you, you, whether you use food or not, maybe you don't use food, maybe you use drugs or alcohol or sex or um, TV or exercise or whatever you use to numb yourself from the pain. You've got to get it out. You've got to talk it out, cry it out. You've got to release it somehow. You can't just keep living your life in denial and living your life just never ever dealing with it because it will not work. You will not be happy. And there's no way to freedom. There's no way to freedom without facing it. Whatever you're running away from, face it. And how do you face it? You can write it out, you can talk it out, you can cry it out, like I said, but you have to get it out. If you need someone to talk to, DM me on Instagram. That's the best way to reach me. I can help you. Um, 
I know Teal Swan can help you. I know my best friend Awa can help you. I know that you can reach out to people that you find on YouTube to help you. A therapist, a coach, a best friend, a mom, dad, sister, brother, whoever you trust in your life, whoever you feel comfortable with. Ask them, hey, can I talk to you like once a week about hard things like my childhood and things I've been running away from? You know, oftentimes a therapist is best because it can give you the freedom to do that and not feel like you're bothering someone. I know that's my issue. I don't want to ever bother anyone with my problems. I don't want to ever complain because I truly believe that, you know, winners don't complain. And that's very bad for me to believe because it's not complaining to release and vent. Um, yeah, that's what I've learned. Uh, very, very recently, because I was, I was still in denial, and I was still using food as love. And food is not love. Food is fuel. Food is fuel. Food is not comfort or safety or love or any emotion. Okay? And food is not something you want to abuse, even raw food. Trust me, it's possible to abuse it. And uh, I was doing that. And I'm really excited for the next phase of my journey. I feel like the next 10 years are going to be absolutely ridiculous for me because I finally understand how to really be a healthy person on this earth in this very unhealthy world. You know, the world is set up for us to emotionally eat. So don't think that there's something wrong with you. You're not bad or stupid. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. The world is set up this way. And um, yeah, here is the beautiful, beautiful sunrise, the progression, guys. Wow, look at that.